Have you ever wanted to change a limiting belief or a negative thought pattern? You're in the right place because today I'm going to give you a guide with action steps how you can effectively change those beliefs and thought patterns. So personally, through meditation and journaling, I have managed to find out what my negative thoughts are and what my limiting beliefs are. And this is very important because if you're unaware of what your limiting beliefs and what your negative thoughts are, you can never be aware of them in your daily life. Now, how will you be supposed to change them? Because most of our thought patterns and beliefs are just habits. And most of it is not necessarily your fault. Most of the thoughts and beliefs we are having stem from our parents or our friends or the things we've watched, like the news, society. All of those things have an effect on you, on your brain, on your thought process. Luckily, everyone can change habits and also your thinking habits and your belief habits. So your identity and your beliefs are intertwined. If you see yourself as example, an athlete, you're more likely to believe that you will go to the gym, that you do some exercise, maybe pick up martial arts or another sport. You see yourself as an athlete, so you will do athlete stuff. If you see yourself as a lazy person, you'll be more inclined to act in the way a lazy person acts. Maybe you will sit on the couch all day, watch YouTube, Netflix, because you already see yourself as a lazy person. And when you do those things, you're giving the identity of a lazy person more proof. You're giving yourself literally more proof that you're a lazy person. Now, of course you can change this, and I will tell you later how to do it. But this is a key concept in changing your beliefs and your thought patterns. So what I've noticed in my own thinking is that I do a lot of should thinking. So I should do this, I should get the best grades, I should be the best. And this is a good thing, but because it has helped me to motivate myself and to get better. But this also can be a stressful thing. Because right now I'm recording this and I'm saying const constantly to myself, I should be a good YouTuber and I should speak perfectly and I know this is not possible, but this is a habit ingrained in myself and I'm trying to be better at it and change it. But it takes time. Lucky for you, I'm going to give you a guide with action steps how to effectively change your negative thoughts and belief patterns. I've laid it all out for you. You just have to follow it. Now, how easy is that? Let's get started. So the first step you're gonna do is find the belief or the thought pattern that you want to change. It can be really easy. Just in your daily life, think about what are the limiting beliefs? What are the negative thoughts I'm having? Why do I feel shit? Like those are the cues you need to look for in your daily life. Now, if you've done that, you can go to the next step. Let's go. So step two is when you have found your negative thought pattern or your limiting belief, ask yourself, how has this helped me? Where did it come from? And why do I want to change this? When you have answered those three questions, you will have enough information to get into the next step. So step three is describe what your desired belief or thought pattern is. So, all right, if you take the example of being an athlete again, now let's say you're a lazy person right now, or you think yourself as a lazy person, find proof for yourself that you're not a lazy person. So for example, when you go one time to the gym, say to yourself, look, I've went to the gym. I'm an athlete. When you're in the gym lifting weights, Look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, look, I'm an athlete. Find the proof that builds the foundation for your new identity. And let's say you've skipped one day of going to the gym. It doesn't matter, accept it. Every athlete fails sometimes, just get back on track. An athlete goes to the gym the majority of the time. Not always, but the majority. So step four is accepting your limiting belief or negative thought pattern. It has helped you to the place you've come to right now. And it's okay, you can let it go. It doesn't help you right now anymore. Instead, you're going to implement a new belief or a new thought pattern. All right, the next step is you're going to download this habit app. And in this habit app, you can add habits and you can track them. Really nice. It works really, really well. Uh, I haven't used it in a long time, though. But as you can see today, I should do 100 repetitions of changing my mindset beliefs. Now, the thing is, when you press on it, you have like this plus button and with this plus button you can add a specific uh, value that you want to add each time so for example i do one 
and as you can see on the left of the plus button you get a one button now what you're gonna do you're gonna sit there and you're gonna say sentences that enforce your belief so for example you're gonna say i'm an athlete i'm gonna gym today and you're gonna give yourself proof every time it's not like reciting like i'm an athlete i'm an athlete i'm an athlete that doesn't work like give yourself proof like put in the effort also what you want to do when you're like enforcing your belief have a little bit of self-compassion because bringing yourself down doesn't really help like it just brings negativity with you have reminders for your new beliefs put reminders into your phone or you can write them down on a piece of paper as just like i did look 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 here as you can see i try to remind myself of the things that i truly want to remember and keep them on my wall in my room another things you can do you can change the background of your phone uh, so you can always look at it because the more effort you're gonna put into changing your mindset the faster it will go all right next you're gonna make a timetable and in that timetable you're gonna put your mind changing habit on top of another routinely habit so for example you are brushing your teeth and after you brush your teeth you're doing the habit now it's important that it, it is stacked on top of a habit that is already routine because it serves as a reminder that you need to do the mind changing habit. Now the last tip I have for you is to have an accountability partner. This shit has helped me a lot with uploading regularly on YouTube because I have this bet uh, currently with another dude in one of the discord servers i'm in so if i don't upload every week i have to give him 50 euros uh, and i don't want to pay him 50 euros this shit helps uh, maybe tell a friend or your mom or your sister or your brother uh, to hold you accountable for the habits that you want to do that's it uh, for this video and i will see you guys later ciao ciao